Kuna, how do you feel? And responsive group. That is the kind of energy and aura which we want you to continue to have in your rooms and meetings as you rank the debate resolutions these next few days. Now before we get started, I want to dedicate this time to appreciate how fortunate all of us are to be able to do what we're doing. The world has been in the midst of turmoil for years now, but the violence is becoming even more horrific. We have innocent people falling subject to terrorism. We have widespread racism and injustice around the world. And we still face the problems of global poverty. Last year, I won this position to serve you based on the principles of clean water distribution, child labor, and the reduction of our carbon footprint. These goals are still applicable to today, as we are still facing the same problems as we have been in the past. However, complaining about it and talking about how much you want to do is not going to make a difference. Relying on our elders and adult representatives is not going to make a change. What is going to make a difference is you, your ideas, your dreams, your voice. Now what I'm saying might seem cliché, and some of you in the back may be starting to doze off, but the time is more than ever to now stop listening and to start speaking. It's your voice that has to be the voice of reason. You are the person who's going to have to make the change for the future of our world. We have been endowed with this amazing opportunity for us to speak our minds and plant our opinions. It doesn't matter what people are going to think of you. If you're the only one in the room with an opposing speech, get up and say it. After all, those are the kinds of people, the risk takers, who grew up to influence minds and make a difference in the planet. To wrap this up, I want to share a story. I used to know someone a lot like some of you first timers out there. He was quiet, shy, and never cared to share his voice, but his head was bursting at the seams with big ideas. In sixth grade, when he came to his first Y conference, he heard the others speak and was floored by this brilliant exchange of ideas. And he said to himself, why can't that be me? Why can't I tell people what I can do and what I think? Why can't I be up there on that podium, inspiring people like the leaders that have inspired me? And that, my fellow delegates, is what pushed me, if you haven't already guessed, to, the, to become who I am today. That is what pushed me to be standing up here, speaking to all of you on how important you are to our global society. And so I ask you, whether you are an experienced YMCA'er who's ready to call someone out if they forget to address the chair, or if you are having your first meeting here with us, I call on you to speak up, be loud, be fun, and share yourself. Because after all, you are the one that is going to have to take up the reins to change the world. And as the great, as the great Steve Jobs once said, your time is limited. So don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't let, you, don't let yourself be trapped by dogma which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the, other, the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. Thank you. Let's make this the best community.